be good, I promise. I'll go straight to school. Come on, come on. Maybe I will go and play. I will go with you. Oh, now I'm turning donkey. Take it easy every day. No hard work, that's the way. Now I see a sharky. Hope my daddy saves me. Pinocchio, brave but foolish boy. Change your ways, stop being a naughty puppet toy. Daddy could be talking to a post. Porca I'll always be a puppet. Puppets just the most. Okay, girls and boys. giant enemy crab. What I'll do is use Benkei here to <clears throat> flip over this crab on his back. Let's see if he shows up. And you attack its weak point for massive damage. <clears throat> giant crab, enemy crab, giant crab, giant enemy crab. Enemy crab, giant crab, based on Japanese history. Giant crab, enemy crab, giant crab, giant enemy crab, giant crab, enemy crab. Actually took place in ancient Japan. Massive crab, massive damage, massive crab. Being based on history, massive crab, massive damage, massive crab, based on Japanese history. Attack is weak. Massive damage. Attack is weak. Massive damage. Flip over this crab on its back. Attack is weak. Massive damage. Genji 2 is a giant enemy crab based on Japanese history. Being based on history, the um, stages of the game will also be based on giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab. 
Patreon, you can get your name after every video, polls deciding future game reviews, outtakes and scripts. Ah! Mario! Oh! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome! Cult! Assemble! How is everyone doing? Um... How do, one and all, welcome to the two month celebration oh, of the Teddy's uh, Twitch stream. Bex Wolfie in straight away with the follow, thank you very much for being here. Um, hope everyone is doing well, great to see all the fellow cult members in the chat. Um, cult hat is on, we're here to celebrate Gostarna and we're here to sacrifice, you know what I mean? Um, it's either our brain cells with whiskey or it's the many many characters we, we hope to, to slay <laughs> in the stream today. I uh, hope everyone is doing good. Uh, I had a lovely little day. Thank you very much. Um, like technically, I know we had uh, the two bud celebration on Monday, but I forgot, so it's it's going to be today instead. So there you go. Uh, howdy doody, hello, Ash Reeves Crunch. Welcome along to the stream. Uh, Bex Wolf, love the hat. This is the the official cult hat. I ordain every new uh, subscriber in this, but I thought I would uh, put it on for now, just while we're introducing the two months anniversary. Uh, it's like fucking being in Alcoholics Anonymous here, isn't it? I've, I've made it to two months, thank you very much. Golf clap. Um, but yeah, it's like the most consistent I've ever been. <laughs> uh, Alpine Escape, thank you for the host. And Lord D the Mighty, thank you for the follow. I uh, got a few follows over the past hour or so. The Vendy Boy, Poker Mario 6456 Hood61, and Trina Gash, welcome. Hail the knife. <laughs> um... Oh my god, Teddy's a review of these two months of Twitch? I mean, look, I barely get to review fucking video games nowadays, let alone uh, <laughs> try and review Twitch streams. But yeah, I'd say there probably is more Twitch streams on the VOD than there are Teddy's reviews. So that's probably quite a tragic, tragic statistic. Um, TK, great to see you. Xenofiend, next video in one year. I am working on the next video, I have you know. Um, it's the worst games you've never played 10 and it should be coming out this month I say that uh, crossing every single limb that I have but uh, I'm trying for it I promise you I'm trying for it uh, who else we got in chat CB welcome TK mentioned you um, a hole hamster oh key Mars all my people Um so yeah I'm gonna take this off because it is getting quite warm um, and I hope it didn't wreck my my hair which I spent hours on to look to look presentable for you for you people oh my god suspicious mash straight in with the bits for the two month twitch anniversary thank you very much suspicious mash much appreciated um yeah and alpine escape with the sub oh what do you love want you Vladimir for? where's the hat from um sorry like i have to mute my fucking machine here just like i always keep forgetting to do it because i like bopping along to the the waiting screen music as i'm sitting here uh the hat is the hat is just um the, the ceremonial knife cult hat. For anyone who doesn't know, we have a knife cult here on this Twitch stream. Uh, hence why the welcome to the cult thing is up there somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's uh, from our worshipping of Largo Winch's knife. The almighty knife. Um, everyone can tell you the lore here. Uh, Mod9209, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you all for being here. Jimmy Riddle 20 my god, followers up the ass. <laughs> uh, wow. Sorry, not lurking, just covered in pet rats. <laughs> lovely. What a lovely image it starts off. So look, yeah. Uh, we have a vote coming up, as most of you know. Um, if anyone has been paying attention to my Twitter, we're going to be voting on Superman Returns, The Godfather, Deadly Strike, or Run Like Hell. Um, I have only ever played Deadly Strike on that list. I've never played Superman Returns. I played The Godfather ages and ages ago, and I've never played Run Like Hell. Um, Deadly Strike, actually, uh, fans will know, it was my second ever review on YouTube um, where I, how very meta of me, refused to review the game because it was so boring, so um, yeah, let's, let's wonder what the best option is. Um, I think it might be a disastrous stream if it's picked, but look, we will do our best and make it entertaining. Uh, Default7, thank you very much for the follow. Um, Marco Bart, I played through the entire Godfather game recently, it's very good, might be a slow game for a stream. That's always the worry, isn't it? Um, Jesus, I'm, I'm barely over the Alone in the Dark stream that we all had to suffer through on Monday. Uh, let's curse that game and banish it to the depths of hell because I never want to touch it again. 
Uh, Godfather is a good game. Look, I'm always here to play good games as well. You know, it can't always be terrible games. Oh, Pixie with the raid of 40 people. Wow, wow, we were. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you, Pixie. Oh, you're so great. She always, like, sends loads of people over my way. And yeah, every time I go to raid someone, she's always, like, logged off. Welcome, Pixie and, and all the raiders. Um, I hope Pixie had a great stream. She's probably animating something fantastic and, and showing talents far beyond what, what I could do. Um, but yeah, welcome. Yes, yeah, Solid Alone in the Dark was absolutely disgraceful carry on for a stream. <laughs> it was painful. Um, but yeah, anyway, so before we start to vote, I have been to celebrate our two month uh, anniversary here, Twitch anniversary, that the cool kids say. I have um, a little surprise for everybody. Before Turbo Topology, in with the follow. Welcome, my friend. So yeah, I have a surprise for everybody, and it is. Da, 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 da. Wait till I get rid of this. We are going to watch <gasps> Cinderella! The Phoenix game Cinderella on the PlayStation 2. This recently just arrived in the post all the way from Australia. Um It's uh anyone who's seen my review of Pinocchio um or watching Phoenix Games movies with Cole on my YouTube channel will know of the horrors that lie with inside this disc. Uh, for anyone who doesn't, Phoenix Games are a games publishing company that essentially take famous franchises, um, normally made by Disney, and then just make their own versions of it. They make like a really shit animation and put it on a PS2 disc where there's no gameplay and then uh, just sell it. And it's kind of a scam, I guess, but tonight, in a few minutes time, we are going to watch Cinderella, presented by Phoenix Games. So yeah. Um... <coughs> Uh, and as you can tell by the front cover, I mean, <laughs> it's just, I don't know what to say. It's it, like for some, this is what, you know the way like you pay people to design game covers? This is what they thought would sell their game. But um, yeah, so I thought that would be a nice little way to begin. And Pixie especially, who is a very, very talented uh, animator, I'm sure you are about to see nightmare fuel for the rest of your life. So yeah. Drinks at the ready, we're going to celebrate. As far as I'm aware, it's like under 10 minutes long. Um, so yeah, when we're done, we will then move on to uh, the vote, where we will spend the rest of the stream in horrible, horrible agony. <laughs> okay, well look, let us begin, I guess. How exciting. I haven't seen a thing of this, by the way, so before we get... Um, she looks like a blow-up doll. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, she kind of has a weird, like, just, it's, she looks like an ornament, doesn't she? You remember, I don't know how non-Irish grandmothers are, but when I used to stay in my granny's house, like, when she was alive, rest her soul, like, she had lots of those porcelain kind of dolls, and that's what it looks like, just one of those uh, porcelain kind of fucking, like, ballerina dolls you'd find inside those boxes that you could wind up, remember, and it play like a horrifying noise. Um... I do remember actually when I stayed in my grandmother's house all those years ago as a child, she used to have, um, she was very religious and um, so she'd have like lots of holy statues dotted around her house and I'd always be sleeping in the spare room um, but on the top of the wardrobe, so it was really high up in the room, at the very corner of the room, she had a, a, a statue of the Virgin Mary sat on top of it, just kind of peeking its head up above um, like where the, the wardrobe ended. And the freakiest thing was, it, it glowed in the dark. So you're kind of, you're in, like, cause, uh, you're in, like, your granny's house, and, you know, you're, like, strange noises, it's an old house. Uh, and then the fucking lights go off, and suddenly there's this, like, green Virgin Mary staring down at you as you're sleeping. <laughs> it's like, it probably explains an awful lot of how I, I turned out to who I am. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Granny Byrne, rest in peace, love you. <laughs> and your, your green glow-in-the-dark Virgin Mary. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, uh, Cinderella is what we're playing by Phoenix Games. I say playing, uh, more than likely going to cry, crying and, and watch. So yeah, let us begin and close the lid of the PlayStation because the thing you have to really uh, appreciate about a Phoenix Games game is um, the menus. So yeah, here we go. Oh, sorry, I haven't been paying attention. I was, went into a weird tangent there. How can Phoenix Games allowed to do this? You know, Mod, I actually got drunk one night about two years ago and emailed Sony and asked them. Um, I put it in, you can actually, I, I talk about it in my review, The Worst Games You've Never Played, number seven. 
and um, I like, some I woke up with an email from Sony customer support, and they said uh, because this is a question about the PS2, we can't talk about it. But uh, obviously, since our policies have changed, so I don't know what that means. But it was just some guy just trying to fucking get rid of me, I guess. Um, the Phoenix logo. Oh boy, I know. Um, so not just yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. What did I not know? A suspicious smash. All your things are highlighted. What are they? do you want, Vladimir? There you are. When is? Oh, sorry. When does Cole make his triumphant return to the channel? I would love for Cole to make another video with me. Um, uh, but we are in level five lockdown here at the moment in Ireland, so it's quite hard to have people over. But as soon as that's possible, I absolutely will get him over. Uh, Bex Wolfie with the sub. Thank you so much. Um. Oh shit. Fuck. Hang on. I have to get the the special ceremonial subscriber hat. Oh no! I'll comment on this. Is that supposed to be Cinderella? Bexy Wolf, welcome. All hail the knife. Welcome along to the cult. Thank you for the sub. Okay. What in the fuck is this? Um. So. I guess Cinderella is. a ginger. Um. And. Is that Prince Charming? It is, Cinderella is one of Prince Charming, isn't it? Fuck. I just wanted to see you with the hat. Well, there you go. I hope it was it was all of your uh, all of your dreams and wishes. Um. Oh my God, this is awful. It's even worse. Like at least in the other Phoenix games, they kind of successfully rip off the basic. Actually, no. What am I talking about? Fucking Snow White looked like a Dolly Parton prostitute. Um, mistakes were made. So so many mistakes. They're all the ugly- yeah, like, are they all the ugly sisters? It looks like it could be. Anyway, um, for anyone- it's, it's, a, it's a general Phoenix Games thing to not have the character in the game look like they did on the front cover, which is that. So, yeah, pick out those characters given, um... <laughs> it's just outrageous, carry on. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, at least you can say that they're consistent with their menuing. doesn't tell me... I can't remember which one's which one. So obviously the camera is the movie, but I kind of wanted to take a gander into the mini games that they include on the disc. And that doesn't get annoying at all, is it? That dingy noise. I'm sure that's really pleasurable to listen to on the stream. Let's see. Is this a fever dream I'm having? <laughs> Grab your whiskey, trust me, it helps a lot. Oh, fucking spoilers, guys. Back to menu. Back to menu. Jesus, I just want to see their games. Maybe this? Like, what could a fucking inflatable... The options. Gosh. <laughs> Are you sure we want to watch this? <laughs> Look, we will. It's not too long, as far as I know. What? Back to menu. Here we go, I guess... The... Is that, was that an octopus that paints? Draw a shitty picture with the crab. How much did you pay for this game? I paid way too much money for this game. Not gonna lie. I think I paid like maybe 30 euro to get it here. Oh, I guess to have all the games split up. I, for some reason I have it in my head that you just select one of those options and it gives you the menu of all their games. Back to, back menu. to menu. Back to menu. Back to menu. Back to menu. Back to you can back leafly menu. just menu. do this back during back the entire menu. cartoon, back by the way. Menu. Back to menu. <laughs> Worth every euro, thank you, Suspicious Smash. See, that's why, that this is what I waste my money on with all the, the subs and, and donations I get on this channel. I just put straight back into these pieces of shit fucking games to play on stream for 10 minutes. Um, yeah, a colouring game. I'm raging, normally there's like a little slidey puzzle and everything. I wish it, so there's an octopus with a camera and a seahorse with a clapperboard. Like, which is to play the film? Please wait. What's this? Oh, that's quite 3D. What if it doesn't tell you what you just like? Oh, it's a memory game. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking noise. It sums up the entire experience, isn't it? Oh my god, what has any of this shit got to do with Cinderella? It's fucking cars. Back to 
X-Men. Oh back my god. <laughs> 30 euros. Yes, indeed, HQ. Um, okay. Everyone ready to watch the film? Grab your popcorn. I hope you're, you're all mentally prepared to be um, subjected to... I'm, sh I'm sure will be one of the best movies you'll watch in 2021. Okay. This isn't the Snyder Cut. It's just um, the regular theatrical release. But here we go. At least I think it's going to be. Harness the power of the PlayStation 2 and experience a 3D game of Snap. Exactly. Listen. Here we go. The beautiful butterfly still tells us more wonderful stories. Sometimes it's the story about the cat that used to smoke a pipe. Or about how a prince was turned into a frog. I, I can pause it. A cat that used to smoke a pipe. What's that referencing? Puss in Boots? Did Puss in Boots smoke? Okay. All sorts of stories. You don't believe me? I'm not lying. That is what it whispered today in my ear. Everyone should listen, even those who doubt. Oh Somewhere my in the world there is a country. And in that country there is a city, Rushton. People are always in a hurry. Somewhere in the world there is a country, and in that country is a city. Why can't you just fucking name a country or a city? Why does it have to, why does it have to be vague? Kind of disappointed it's not the same narrator. Yeah, I know. Like, this guy... I don't know. Um, I gar I, I'd i love to bet money with someone who knows that it's one of the developers. I'm actually crying. It, this is so much... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, TK, the runtime, I'm pretty sure, is like eight minutes. Very busy, like hard-working bees. And when sport competitions are on, everybody goes to watch them. Oh, this is Cars hideous. Cars race along the streets and planes fly through the blue sky. The city buzzes just as a beehive. Not long ago, in the suburbs of Rushton, lived a good-natured widower with his child, a beautiful young girl. One day, he got married. And that is when the trouble What the fuck are they trying? They're modernizing the story of Cinderella. Like, isn't it about... Isn't it set kind of in olden times? Wasn't that the point of Cinderella? Like, she lived in a house with the evil stepmother and the ugly sisters. And, like, there was castles and princesses and stuff. Like, why is it in a modern city with cars and everything? Like, they're, they're really... <laughs> yeah, this looks like cyberpunk. <laughs> Keepers. <laughs> um... Jesus Christ, like. His new wife was a very haughty woman. Haughty? What does ha what does that mean? Is that a real word? Haughty? And she was lazy and selfish. She had two daughters of her own. And they were both very plain and wore gaudy makeup on their faces. They were very plain. <laughs> they can't be ugly anymore, I guess. It's like maybe that was like... When this game was released, like you can't call can't call them ugly anymore. Just call them plain, wearing gaudy makeup. They were quite horrible. <laughs> the young girl was much prettier and cleverer than her stepsisters. Uh -oh. This made the stepmother hate her with all her heart. For punishment, she kept the young girl busy by giving her lots of peeling work potatoes. In the house. There's a real anti-Irish uh, sentiment going on here. She's ginger, poor, and peeling potatoes. I mean. Next, she'll be fucking drinking whiskey. I mean, stop enabling stereotypes, everyone. We're not all drugs. <clears throat> Poor young girl was covered in dirt and grime because she never had any spare oh. time to wash her face. <laughs> she can't even wash. She must stink. Or oh, even no. take a bath during the day. Oh that no! Why they called her Cinderella. Because her face was covered in soot from the cold cinders in the fireplace. The mother has shown an awful lot of uh, cleavage there. It's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Didn't even feel that one. Is this a porno? Uh, I d Unfortunately not. Ash Reeves, I don't think so. One beautiful hot day, there was a loud din in the street outside. It was the prince's Back messenger to who had come to Back announce to, to the whole city some wonderful news. Listen. Prince rushed. Look at his fucking face. What's wrong? What? Why did they draw him like that? He's got a fucking big, ridiculous, like Ron Perlman. If he was like 
ten, but had the same so face. Invites all citizens to attend the royal ball tonight. Oh, so there is a so what the royal ball? They live in a city with cars and everything. It's not fucking London, England. Even they don't have royal balls. They have a royal Cinderella's family. Cinderella's household almost boiled over from the preparations for the ball. The Vane sisters bustled about like crazy. Who was there? Was someone with grey hair there? That's John Cena. That's a they great tried show. on dresses, curled their hair, covered the spots with powder, but for all that, they still looked like frights in dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! It is so funny. Like uh, someone mentioned in the comments, like the Irish, or, the Irish. Sorry, I'm reading Aho's comment. The narrator is incredibly judgmental, and um, it's like that in all of the Phoenix games. It's like they just they write. Okay, this character what is supposed to be ugly, but instead of portraying that somehow in within the story, it's like she was very ugly. It's like okay, thank you, RCTP. Thank you for the follow. And Cowboy, Ted Clope with the resubscription for two months. Oh, what a lucky crowd we are. Thank you, Cowboy. Um, yeah, we're in the middle of watching Cinderella here. All day running back and forth, waiting on the conceited girls. Jesus, that's not a very ladylike posture. came, the stepmother and her daughters climbed into the hire car and went to the prince's castle, leaving at home an unhappy and exhausted Cinderella, all alone. Then, suddenly, a distinguished lady appeared before Cinderella. She had a gentle, beautiful face. A distinguished lady? Fucking hell, in that wig. And charming smile. It was her wonderful fairy godmother, Angela. Angela! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the word, the name Angela should not be in some retelling of <laughs> I don't know if maybe that's her name in the, in the original I'm sure it works a lot better but <laughs> it was her fairy godmother Angela I know what you want my dear child oh no you would like to go to the ball tonight at the castle but I don't have a nice dress cried Cinderella go to the garden and get me the biggest pumpkin Cinderella went straight outside and chose the biggest pumpkin in the garden the godmother used her magic wand and turned the pumpkin into a smart carriage. A smart carriage? It's a fucking, it was like a, a muscle car. What? And then used it again to turn Cinderella's dirt. Whoa, she kissed her on the lips. What's going on in this fucking Lord. thing? Does she even know how to drive? Apparently she doesn't even have time to bathe. How does she know how to drive a car? Into an elegant ball gown. Remember to come back home before midnight. When the clock strikes midnight, all of my magic will disappear. Oh, Cinderella shit. climbed into the elegant carriage, and moments later... That's a good car to get up those hills. Never said it was in fucking San Francisco. ...arrived at the palace doors. She walked timidly up the huge stairs and stepped into the bright ballroom. All the guests immediately turned and looked at her. Charmed by her beauty. What the fuck is going on? Cinderella froze from the light. <gasps> right. <laughs> Why would she want to go to this part? Look, that's like, I mean, look. That's the type of men who everyone, like, who, who are the pretty ones that she's jealous she doesn't get the attention of. Oh my god. <gasps> what is that fucking statue outside? It looks like who? a monkey oh, or something. You, beautiful young lady. Oh god. I cannot tell you just yet, she replied, scarcely believing the prince was talking to her. Suddenly... Why does the prince have purple hair? It's like, why? started to chime the midnight hour. <laughs> Cinderella, remembering the fairy godmother's warning, wrenched herself from the... That party is an epileptic's nightmare. Like, you would just die as soon as you... <laughs> you probably died just watching it. Who would want this party? Prince's his arms and flew from the castle, leaving one golden slipper on the stairs. What were they going ran. for? 
The prince, who was very sad because his new love had disappeared, found the slipper on the stairs. Oh my god. The next morning, the sound of royal trumpets woke the whole city. As the prince set out on his search for the mysterious beauty. His messenger knocked on all the doors of the city and said to the women inside... Why is he... Why is it modern? Why? Why? Why is he on a motorbike? It's a fucking... A re, like a, a Microsoft Paint uh, animated character on a 3D model of a motorbike. Good morning, madam. Could you try on this gold slipper? Unfortunately, the gold slipper was either too large, or too small, or too narrow, or too broad for any of the women's feet. <laughs> that evening... It was too broad for any of the women's feet? What are they trying to say? That, like, Snow White has huge feet? It was too broad. They couldn't afford the medieval asset pack and had to get the free city life on Terrains. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, so strange. And it's the same way the script that the narrator is reading, it's like, it's it's written as if it's supposed to be in a medieval time. Like, there's nothing to say that it's in a modern setting. It's so odd. This messenger knocked at the door where Cinderella lived. Uh-oh. A dozen young ladles. And then Cinderella's house in the middle of the city just, just growing fucking pumpkins outside. Pumpkins that turn into cars, not a horse and carriage. Uh, excuse me, uh, young ladies live here? Of course, the big fat feet of the two stepdaughters. Big fat feet? What a cunt! <laughs> did not fit the golden slipper. Are these all of your daughters, madam? Everyone was amazed when it fitted her foot perfectly. At that same moment, Cinderella magically turned back into the princess and the happy prince immediately asked her to marry him. oh my god we're back Less here than three weeks later a great wedding was held in the castle that's their wedding it's like a fucking children's party that you put on for fucking five euros and the whole of rushton threw a gigantic party the streets suddenly became empty the people stopped being in a hurry and the skyscrapers seemed to smile in the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her? Rory! What happened to the everything? It's all wrong! <laughs> oh my dear goodness golly gracious. Um, so yeah, that was... That was Cinderella for um, the PlayStation 2, no less. I hope you all enjoyed that. Fuck me. Like, it would probably take me longer to read the, all the text on the back of the box than it would to watch that again. But yeah, um, <laughs> throw the AO lobster, shoot a knife. <laughs> Honestly, you need it. Um, Key Mars, hydrate, thank you. I fucking need to hydrate after that. Oh my god. Let's watch it again. Yeah, let's watch <laughs> I need to get my 20 euros worth <laughs> But like even like so this is how fucked up this is right so it takes place in a city look at the cover It's like the prince is in like he looks like a prince There's a castle in the background. There's fireworks in the sky and she looks like she's dressed up in a proper gown It's like there's nothing nothing Except this fucking crap oh my god um so yeah anyway that was a uh, happy two months everyone <laughs> oh my god the greatest story ever told yeah for, for anyone to shed a tear um <laughs> watching that i apologize for making you emotional um this has to be one of the worst of the phoenix games so far and that's saying something yeah and like i mean i have another phoenix games thing over there but it was like 39 minutes long and I was like, fuck that, that is just death to a stream. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's what we got. <laughs> so look, anyway, uh, that was Cinderella, but now on to the main event, um, which is the vote. The merciful vote that all of you people are going to lay on me here. Um, 39 minutes, yeah, it's, I got, um, 
it was only released on the PS1. Normally, Phoenix Games released, like, they ported a lot of their PS1 animations like that over to the PS2, but it's the Tars or not, is it? Yes, yeah, Tarzan. It's called Lord of the Jungle. I have it over there, but it's too far away to reach. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, pro I'll probably watch it with Cole sometime on stream whenever we can. Uh, I'll get back together again, so that's the plan for that. Um, but yeah, so... <sighs> Christ almighty. Uh, so yeah, let us vote. So, in... Uh, I'm going to put a vote that's going to be five minutes long. Um, and I'm going to start it... <gasps> now. Here we go. The vote is active, and we have, should have, a little screen here to uh, let us know how the results are going, so here we go. Uh, so yeah, as I said, Superman Returns, The Godfather, Deadly Strike, and Run Like Hell. Um, like I said, at the start of the stream, I've only ever played Deadly Strike, and I played The Godfather really, really briefly. Um, but yeah, so it's up to ye. As always, when the stream uh, eventually dies a painful death, uh, I blame you people. So, <laughs> um, oh cry! Superman returns in with the lead so far. Um, so yeah, I think like you can also spend your whiskey bottles of whiskey that you can accumulate from watching the channel, and also spend some bits to get everything going. Uh, Godfather with one vote. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, sorry, fucking uh, Brando. Ugh. Just have to get out of Phoenix Games over there. Oi, which one will make Teddy suffer the most? Who, like, don't worry, Linda's Legion, I will suffer for every single one of them, I promise you. Um, oh no, Deadly Strike, I'm, I'm quite afraid of Deadly Strike winning, actually, because, um, for anyone who doesn't know, I made a video, like, it was my second ever review on the YouTube channel, called Utter Rubbish, and, um, that was my Deadly Strike review, and in it, I, I refused to review the game because it was so boring, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's it's between Superman Returns and Deadly Strike by the looks of it. Um, yikes. I voted for Deadly Strike. Don't worry, we, we'll have fun with it. Um, the opening cinematic, I remember, is quite fun for Deadly Strike. But yeah, I haven't played it since I made that video all those years and years ago. Oh, Dev Cunfi, I'm the single Godfather vote. <laughs> Look, I was, I was kind of hoping for the Godfather as well, but, um, you know. Look, these, these uncultured swine. The worst thing about Superman Turns the Movie is that it's directed by Brian Singer. I know. It's the one reason why I won't watch the, the Freddie Mercury film. Um, yeah, with his fucking pedophile ring. Yikes. You can't play Godfather. That's a good game. I need you to suffer. Sometimes I want to play a good game, Rory. Okay? <laughs> um... Oh, lads, what's the plan in the event of another tie? Oh, stop. Don't even talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll flip a coin, I guess. Did that last time, didn't we? And it ended up quite horribly. It all went wrong. Um, I'm glad I stopped watching movies. <laughs> movies are good. Movies are all right. Like Cinderella. Good movie. Do you know what I mean? There are good movies out there. It means he has to play both. That's enough of that Poker Mario. <laughs> I don't need such negativity on the stream. We won Gadget the last time. Oh, that's right. And to be fair, Gadget, as painfully awful as it was, um, I didn't, I didn't mind streaming it so much because it was terrible to play. But you fuckers all enjoyed seeing me cry while playing it. So lose, win, win for ye. Bohemian Rhapsody. The movie wasn't too bad. Rami Malek was great in it, and I'm glad he won an Oscar. Not much else but the movie special. Yeah, it's, I have zero interest in it, honestly. Um, if we tie, you have to play Home Alone again. Wow, mod. I actually don't have Home Alone up here. Um, yeah, I have it back in my parents' house in Carlo. But um, as soon as I can get home for when this whole lockdown ends, whenever it's going to fucking end, I have, like, a, just a big fuck-off black sack of PS2 games that I've collected over the years. That I'll just... I'll never have to buy another game again. So, um, yeah, how exciting slash traumatic. Um, I still want to see Rocketman. Rocketman's quite fun. Uh, play two player in a game called Home Alone. <laughs> oh, lads. Why else are we here if not for sadism? Be played like a damn fiddle. Um, I actually started Ground Zero today. Well, started and finished it. It's only like half an hour long. But I'm going to play Metal Gear Solid 5 again just to, to see if it's as... Horribly disappointing as I remember. I think it might be a bit of fun. Um, have you played the PS2 He-Man game? You know Kerr666? Uh, I have it there. And I want to wait 
to review it, because I will review it soon. I've heard terrible things about it, so I think it'll be a nice game to, to review for the channel. Um, like, Santa Sack of Toys, except it's full of shitty games. That's, like, probably the most appropriate metaphor <laughs> for that pile of games. It really is. Um, not even Tika could have Tennis to Deadly Strike. That's true. Like, from what I reckon, Deadly Strike... Oh, shit, we are tied. Oh, please, someone don't... Someone quickly just vote for either Deadly Strike or Superman Returns, please. Fuck, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, D Deadly Strike! Okay, <laughs> it's in! <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, I don't know about thank God, but look, it is what it is. Deadly Strike wins. Deadly Strike wins. Look at that. Wouldn't you believe it? Oh, lads. Okay. Deadly Strike won. Congratulations, Deadly Strike, with 40% of the votes. 43 votes. Superman in second. The Godfather with a miserable, miserable showing. Yikes. Have fun, Tenning. Thank you, HQ. That rhymes. Um, Linda's Legion. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see uh, three people excited for Deadly Strike. That was a quick enough to save Superman. Look, Sarah. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I will go and hunt Deadly Strike and we'll be back in about 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere because we're back for some misery. Some horrible hack and slash until ad infinitum misery. Um, for, in the meantime, enjoy the cult theme. Back in Okay, dokie. Alrighty. Um, hope you all enjoyed that brief respite of nice music before we start the horrible shit show that's going to be Deadly Strike. To those, Neil Wilson, to those who voted Deadly Strike, do you know what you've done? <laughs> Pixie remembers the travesty that was Deadly Strike on the YouTube video and is amused. Wow, how did you do that, Pixie? Changed like the color of your text and everything, like a Twitch genie. Um, so yeah, here we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's hop to it. Oh Jesus. Okay. With any mercy, the PS2 will explode and save us all. But look, it makes sense, I guess. You know, we're on the two-month anniversary of the Twitch, and it was the second video that I made for the channel. So, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Look at that. You can all colour your text. Holy shit. I can barely fucking um, stream on this thing, let alone change colours of text. <clears throat> Postman Pat by Blast Games should be an option. Mod, believe it or not, um, Postman Pat is in the next review. Spoilers! I'm reviewing Postman Pat. And the knife is thrown! Congrats, Alex. Oh, Jesus. D3 Publishing. Um, the, make, the publisher is behind Sniper 2, for anyone who wants to know the, the level of quality that these people um, normally partake in. <clears throat> Cyworks. 
Sai, ai, ai. <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go. Here's where it pretends to be Tekken. Look at that type. <laughs> I forgot about that. Is that a floppy disk? Ooh, I didn't realize that was so upskirt. Why do you want black me for? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's not even a sniper rifle that he took out. Oh my god. All his clothes disappeared. There you go. Deadly strike. Deadly strike. Oh Christ. Monarch D. Wolf, thank you for the two months. Spent all my whiskey on this glorious trash. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, oh no, sorry, I didn't press start in time. Let's see how the demo plays, actually. If it'll ever load. Okay. Demonstration. Remember that these things are, were meant to be able to uh, sell the game. Like, that, that's what the point of these demonstrations was. It's to entice you to play. What have you people done? How old is this? Oh god, I don't know. 2003, I think. Spit smash. Um, anyway, here we go. So. Cyber 2 memories, indeed. Oh, that's right. The, the menu. Look at this. It's like some sci-fi. Fuck, I, I, I never talked about this in the, the video that I made, but... It's like... It's a game that takes place in kind of ancient, um, it's like, kind of, I, I don't know what country, if it's China or, J or Japan or something, but, um, and this is the menu, it's so fucking unrepresentative of the game, you know what I mean? It's just like a bunch of people with weapons fighting ninjas and shit. Um, costume B2, oh no. I have a feeling it's going to be the type of game where you have to, like, die fail on the game once, Earn enough points to then be able to buy these fucking things. Like, maximum value of life gauge increases attack power up. Oh no. This does not bode well. Look, um, if it all dies a horrible, horrible death, well then we'll, we'll play a different game. <laughs> I'm determined to make this stream fun, damn it. Okay. Riji, Mikoto, Tetsu. Liz! <laughs> Liz! <laughs> All these kind of cool sounding names like Riji, Nikoto, Tetsu, Liz, <laughs> Billy! <laughs> and Cynthia! Oh my god. Um, who will I play as? Oh boy, not again, use 400 bits. Thank you very much for the bits. Jesus Christ. Dave, Bob, Jeff, go see the blade chill, long lost brother Riji. Okay. I'd, I'd imagine, like, the kind of best balanced characters would be the best ones to go with in this game. Here we go. I should have went with Liz. I should have went with fucking Liz. Gorge of Athleticism. What a stance. Look, he's comfortable in his masculinity, I'll give him that. Oh, um, by the way, if you want me to turn this down, then just let me know. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be the whole game. Um, I would nearly, just for the sake of um, our, our sanity, like save up, save up enough points. To, to buy like extra lives and shit. Um, oh, what was that? Oh. 
choices. Back to menu! Back to menu! Turn it down a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, Christ, there we go. If that's not enough, just let me know. We can barely hear you. Oh, shit. Thank God. Hopefully that's a little bit better. What the fuck have you voted for? Yes, I know. Although I do kind of blame myself. It's like just offering heroin to a drug addict. Like, I should have known this is what you people go for. So, uh, yeah. So far, I'm playing the game terribly, but I haven't taken any damage. I don't know what that tells you. Natural Man Randy Salas, thank you for the follow and for that username. That is absolutely amazing. Welcome along to the stream. Um, the chat voted for Deadly Strike. Deadly Strike for Deadly Times. Um... Please, let that be it. No. Oh my god, just hit him. There we go. My bleeding heart. Sonic is love, 1991. Thank you for the follow. We're playing utter crap. <laughs> um, I mean, brave choice to uh, follow the same kind of art style as Final Fantasy VII. Remember that game that leased on the launch of the PS1? Um, just to have kind of 3D character models with pre-rendered backgrounds. So yeah, get used to this. Deadly shite, indeed. What is this game? This game is Deadly Strike, Lord of the Lord D the Mighty. Um, I reviewed it on my YouTube channel. It was the second video I ever reviewed. Um, and in the review, I said it was one of the most boring games I've ever played, yet here we are. <laughs> Wizard of Oswald, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. I love your vid settings, and I love you, Sonic is Love. Um, thank you very much. New one coming soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we regret nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Linda Station. Look, look, he's not even... Some fucking enemies, aren't they? They barely even attack you. Now he kind of has a bit of confidence. Christ above. Okay. Area 3! Hot garbage. <laughs> Don't think I've seen this review. You will see the youngest tenings you will ever lay your eyes on in that review. I think it was my first time appearing in front of the camera. Um, for a game review, so enjoy that. A young, fresh-faced Tennings with his whole life ahead of him. If only he was to know. <laughs> um, Christ, I had the sound turned way up my headphones here. It's awful. 10 out of 10 AI, tell me about it. Oh, baby, 10. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I just... It is so funny back then, like... and. What's funnier as well, I'm sure every YouTuber is like this, when you... Oh, power up on the sword, great. Um, like, when you're preparing to be in front of the camera on a video, you want to make sure I better look fucking good here, because, you know, everyone's going to be making fun of me if I look stupid and terrible. Um, and then you look at yourself a few years later, and it's like, Oh my god, what was I thinking? <laughs> it's just cruel. Before all your dreams are crushed by terrible games and fucking life. Um. I don't know what the point of the gun is. It it, it seems weaker than the sword. Um, and it charges up quite quickly, so... Oh dear, oh dear. When you played that game all those years ago, you probably weren't thinking in 10 years from now I'll be playing this piece of shit again. No, I was probably very resigned to the fact that... Um, I will never, ever, ever, ever play this again. It's a surprise I didn't break the game at the end of that. It's like Golden Axe, but shit. <laughs> and that's like, yeah, just... I... It reminds me more of... Remember in Tekken 5, there was... Um, like a Jin Kazama side story, where you could control Jin, and it was kind of like an adventure mode that was really poorly done. Um... But it was a really slapped on mode. But it reminds me of that. Except worse. <laughs> I love the way there's a press start flashing right there. The game is begging for two players. It's lucky to have any player. One player. Although, you know what? Nothing for anyone who was with me on Monday when we played... Um, what was it called? Fucking Cheggers Party Quiz. Like the single most depressing fucking game ever made. Warning. Terrible boss ahead. Okay. So... Here's where we fight 
King from Tekken, I guess. Oh no, Kuma, it's a bear. That was a line. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's see if we get a pro gamer moment out of this, guys. What's the fucking point? So, your special move is a gun that you can fire, but the enemies can just block it. Oh, Christ, that fucking noise. Oh. Look at that fucking car. So, it's a bear wearing pants? Carrying a big club. I mean, none of it makes sense. It just doesn't make like. There's no fucking story as well. The game, like, you start the game and it just drops you in this fucking world. Like, what does any of it mean? Oh, shit, I'm nearly fucking dead here. Okay, concentration time. And the bear sounds like a human as well. I don't know if anyone can hear him. He's like, hoi, hoi, hoi. <laughs> You would think like a bear might go, Rawr! but no, not this bear. It's like Winnie the Pooh's da. Okay, a game about a cancer survivor more entertained than Cheggers Party Quiz. <laughs> a C? I didn't even die once. What more do you want from me? Hex, oh my god, there's a username. Hexy Boozertarian. Thank you for the follow. We're playing a terrible pile of crap that the stream wanted me to play, so. Yeah. It's their fault. So, stage 2A normal. What in the fuck? Like, you can't even read that text in the corner. Pa Passive Destiny. Stage set along a treacherous. I guess that says mountain. Mountain path. Battle enemies in the expansive wilderness. I can't select the other one down. I guess you probably have to do a good job to get that one. I don't know. That last boss is Cheggers. Imagine that. Pro gamer moment. Pro gamer. Sorry, I forgot to shout it. Um, for anyone new to the stream, uh, I am a pro gamer. You see lots of pro gamer moments. Um, I'm kind of annoyed because when you're an affiliate on Twitch and you're not a partner, you're only limited to five emotes, which is like, let me make another emote. I want to make a pro gamer emote. I'm a pro gamer. Oh my Christ. See, this is the really fucking annoying thing about this game as well. Um, the first few levels, they're just, you can just completely glide through them. There's no strategy, there's no, like, you just, they're so easy. But then, like, of course, you'll eventually reach a boss that will just completely fucking annihilate you. And you have to start the whole thing over again. Which I promise not to do. <laughs> really should just have a separate music playlist playing over the back of this. Oh my god, there's a Tato emote. Yes, there is, Poke Mario. I think, like, it's for, um, if you've given over a thousand bits, I think you unlock Sad Tato. Mr. Tato's Wild Weekend, of course. One of the best, uh, videos on Pornhub that exists out there. For anyone who's seen my, uh, Space Invaders review. Ay ay ay. Also, for anyone with a PS4, PS5, Ratchet- Yeah, I saw Ratchet and Clank is free! It's fucking awesome. Oh my god. I just realized my gun is powered up. Great. Look at this. So you press circle to roll, but he has to pause. He, he's like, he can't just fucking dive. He just, he actually has to stop whatever he's doing and then like, anyway. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but you were the <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but you are the worst warrior of all time. Final Fantasy VII Remake is free with PlayStation Plus, yeah. Although, I don't know. I'm someone who, um, I'm one of those original gamers, you know, hashtag real gamer. I call the original Final Fantasy VII one of my favorite games. And I, Remake did nothing for me. It really didn't. Um, it's just, I don't know. Just, it's like watching my... If I had a son, it's like watching it just get defiled in front of me. <laughs> there was some heavy nostalgia, but yeah, I wasn't, wasn't that big a fan of it. Enjoyed it, but I don't know. I can't imagine it being fun for anyone who'd never played the original. That was That's a really funny thing. 
Wow, look at that for fucking gameplay. Oh my god. What incredible AI. He just fucking shot a fireball. What the fuck? Jesus. Look at this. The game lets you fucking wander all the way over here. What? Oh my god. Oh boy, not again. Thank you for the bits. Nice imaging. <laughs> I've never played the original. And did you like the remake? I just think, like, I mean, the fucking remake. I, I thought it did so many things wrong. Like, number one. Um... Sephiroth. So, like, in the original, he's... You, you go through, the, like, the first few hours of the game, and, like, Shinra is the main enemy, and suddenly you're captured by Sinra. Sinra. It, by Shinra. And you wake up in the cell, and the headquarters are completely empty and covered in blood, and it's like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? And then you find President Shinra just with the big fucking sword sticking out of his back. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, bitch, I'm Sephiroth. It's like, whoa. And then you just, like, hear tales of him through people talking about him like Cloud like talking about how much he was the best soldier and everything but in the fucking remake you see him like after the first five minutes of the game he's just like his NPC is like kind of stumbling around in front of you trying to walk down alleyways it's like the whole mystique of him is gone it's like how could you fuck up one of the best video game villains I haven't played the remake either well there you go <laughs> Agree with the Sephiroth thing, they introduced some way too early, yeah. And also, the, the idea, the fucking sheer idea that the story of Final Fantasy VII is like a character in the game, in the form of those destiny ghosts, that, like, if you try to do anything as Cloud, outside of the story of Final Fantasy VII, suddenly he's attacked by all these phantoms that come around, that guide him along, and push him in general directions that follow the same story as, as the original. And then at the end of Remake, spoilers, you fight those, you fight the Destiny Spirits. So I guess Final Fantasy VII Remake literally has you fighting the original story of the game. It's like, what fucking cockamony Kingdom Hearts bullshit is this? Like, it's just so stupid. Anyway. Hope you're all enjoying Deadly Strike! <laughs> I guess it is one of the nice things about this game. It lets you kind of just talk shit about everything else, you know? Um, that sounds awful. The remake is utter shite. There's characters that have entire chapters on the original. They have like three lines of text. That's not bad, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what they should do in a remake. Um, is flesh out the game in ways that the original couldn't. Um, but, unfortunately, everything they flesh out is just bad. It's just crap. Like, and the new characters, my god, you know that fucking... Is it like there's a Turk on a motorbike, and he sings, and he fights you on his motorbike? It's like, this fucking anime kind of shit that they introduced, it was just... Yeah. Deadly strike, more like fucking shui! <laughs> Indeed. What's the plot of this game? Literally nothing. The only way it... I, I don't actually have the, the game, like, I had my... I found it, this in my little... Uh, tray of games so I don't have the box in front of me so I can't read the back of it but um, the opening cinematic had some characters one of them saved a child uh, I don't know what this character did but yeah it's like th th there's no story it just th it, it drops you in a level and says here fight all these people with spears um, 40 hours remake equals 5 hours of the original game and again that could have been fine it could have been grand, but instead they they ended up um, taking an awful lot of what was good about the original and and contorting it and just making it fucking like an, a bad anime. It was kind of annoying. So it's Final Fantasy VII, everything bad with the franchise nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it just it it didn't feel like it had the voice of of the original. And I just know, fucking. Aerith isn't going to be dying in the remake. Like, that's for fucking sure. You just know. Same, it looks like fucking Zack isn't going to be dying in the remake. 
I thought there was one point, I don't know if I, like for anyone who's played it, it looked, there's a bit where I thought that they did something really great and that was kill Barra. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Um, but of course uh, they didn't, he comes back to life like almost straight away. <laughs> but they teased it and I was like, oh this is brave and fresh and interesting, but no! Instead you get to play as Cloud who for the entire game has to struggle through fucking hopping on, on little... Uh, wooden beams on top of a church and a few hours later he's like jumping from falling skyscraper to falling skyscraper It's like just a f it makes no sense anyway Megamatic with the two months. Thank you very much Megamatic um, Kind of removes the impact for why they made her die totally I disappointed the remake for you was Resi, Resi 3. Do you know I haven't played any of the Resi remakes um, my bleeding Husky Davies heart. with the follow. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. We are playing uh, Deadly Strike as voted for by by the maniacs in the chat who just hate me. Um, it's a terrible hack and slash game with a very little strategy. Um, and I'm only on the second mission. And what the fuck am I even fighting here? What is this? What is he supposed to be? Like a silk robe dancer? A green... Oh shit! Oh Jesus, anyway. The colours in this game, I know, it is like an acid trip, isn't it? Okay, I think I have to destroy those ghosts that he leaves himself because he... Um... Turns them into ninjas. Oh Jesus Christ. Is he hiccuping fire? It was I like I turned the sound of the game way down just to spare you all, but it is funny when he does that attack. He's going hip hop hip 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 hip. Okay, at least I'm on his last health bar anyway. I like the music. I don't know, man. Oh my god. It's another one of those filthy hammer cultists. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Eat bullet, dickhead! Now what's he doing? Jesus, again. Heep, 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 heep. My favorite thing so far is all the bosses are like these kind of, it's either like a giant bear or some like kind of invisible demon, silk demon thing, but they all have human voices. <laughs> it's just stupid. Is anyone still having problems processing Cinderella? <laughs> yeah, for anyone new to the stream, we, uh, we, we watched the Phoenix Games version of Cinderella. You can catch it on the, the VOD, but um, that was something else. Um, how's everyone enjoying this? Are we are we moving along okay? Ugh. Which is better, Club Orange or Fanta? Oh come on, Club Orange surely is gonna win that. Oh, I wonder do we get a giant enemy crab? I'd love that. I was hoping the details of Cinderella's support line would go out shortly. Deadly Heights. If this was a Cinderella game now, it would be a... An apartment block. Also, credit to the game for just repeating the same enemy over and over again for the last three levels. This is this is really helpful and great. What's Club Orange? Huh? It's like the nicest fucking so well, apart from Coke. Nicest soft drink going. What's Club Orange? It's poor traumatized people. Great for me. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keepers. Um, just the most repetitive gameplay. Whoa, you, what? Look at this crap. Like, this is for some reason an area that you can just go and explore, I guess. I love this protagonist over to the screams. It is like they... They try to, he's like just a really bad version of Link. 
Link, you don't mind because you like the guy and um, he's kind of toned down a bit. This guy's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Club Orange is an Irish thing. Is it really? Is it? Oh man, for anyone, Tato and Club Orange. For fuck's sake, God, we're so lucky here in Ireland. Lockdown aside, we're so lucky. This is more repetitive than that Batman game you reviewed. Oh my God, are you joking? There's no comparison. At least that one had. Show me the rabbits. Tell me about the rabbits. That's the fucking character model of the first boss, isn't it? Not? Looks like it. Oh, geez, I, I hate when they block it. Just fucking delays it. Funny how regional drinks and snacks can be. I cannot believe that you have never experienced Club Orange. It's honestly fucking top tier. And Club Lemon. My God, for anyone that has never had the the fucking glorious feeling, get if you're hungover, having a bottle of Club Lemon in the fridge, ice cold. Oh, oh. Think of, like, the nicest whiskey sour you've ever had, um, and it's a non-alcoholic version of that. We're underprivileged outside of Ireland. I'm telling you. I think you've now broken the world record for the longest anyone's ever played this game for. No, no, I played it longer Black for my review. I promise you. A-hole hamster resubscribing with two months. A-hole hamster. You are not an a-hole. You may be a hamster. But thank you very much. Much appreciated. I love you guys, the fucking support you give me here in this channel. One thing I'm really looking forward to, I've probably talked about this every single stream, but when I get the new review out, the new review is five games, it's like another compilation review, but I can't wait to just play them all then on stream, so I can just properly go into the talking points and show you all how truly terrible they are. Which they are. Fucking dreadful. Oh, fuzzy feelings, there we go. <laughs> I prefer Pepsi above everything else, to be honest. Yeah, Pepsi never really had the same... Um, I don't, I'd say most Irish people probably would never put Pepsi on their on their favourite list. Probably just because it was always just seen as a cheap Coke. But um, I do enjoy Pepsi Max, if I do say so myself. I think of all of the, the diet Coke drinks, Pepsi Max is uh, is the best one. Oh, the Coke Zero as well is, is quite nice. Yay, Tenin's loves us. I never said that. <laughs> I don't love anything. My heart is dead. Don't break my heart. Oh my god. The reviews are three and a half minutes long, exactly. But I played, like, I, I reviewed it for three and a half minutes, but I played the game for about an hour, two hours, I reckon. Um. I should, like, just open up that review so we can all look at how adorable I am. Little fresh face tenings. Oh my god. Did you see the 20 car Garda chase in Dublin? I saw something about it on Twitter. It was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Was this game released in the US? No, I don't think so. It was um, the same publishers that did the Sniper 2, so I think they just... They blessed us with this, so yeah. I guess for, for every Club Orange that we have here in Ireland, we also have a deadly strike. It's um, give and take. Look at these, like, what's he doing? He's running like he's wearing a fucking nappy. Oh goodness, it's supposed to be this zoomed in. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, it is, really. This is the full game screen I've shown you. I haven't zoomed in. Oh my god, Dublin has car chases too. That's like, I mean, not really. It was just like the most preposterous video. There was like one car driving quite slowly, mind you, and then following it also quite slowly were like 20 police cars. Um, <laughs> it's just bizarre. What do you want, Vladimir? Oh my god, oh boy, not again with the fucking gifted subs. Um, oh boy, not again. Thank you, thank you so much, you fucking maniac. Um, hang on, what I'm gonna get my, my papal sub hat as the, the innkeeper from Largo Winch welcomes you all. Hang on. 
I'm just in the middle. I'll, I'll clear off these what enemies and then and welcome you all formally. There we go. What do you want Vladimir for? Today we honor thy oh boy, not again. Gifting subs to Blundering My King, DJ Rutland, Really Minty, for? the Macaroni Prince, and TK Ray, the fucking MVP himself, getting gifted the sub. Congrats, my friends. We're here for another month. <laughs> Uh, we got the guy game. Oh yeah, you got the, the underage girl getting her tits out. <laughs> that's that's the Americans. Um, I would like to review that someday. I do have a kind of morbid interest. Oh, did I? No, sorry. I, I may have almost died to this when I played this game back in the day. Look at this fucking... Like, look how stupid it is. It's like... For a game that drops you in with, like, no story, right? Um... It's a fucking enemy, a purple line with ginger hair and four snakes, five snakes coming out of its arse. Like, what were they going for? And we're on a floating island. <laughs> it's just so strange. Oh god, what's it? It has like fucking three health bars or some shit. I can't, like, do I have lives? I can't remember if I do or not. It's a mythical beast! <laughs> I assume, like, Dark Souls was quite inspired by this game. There we go. Oh, that's right, I have five lives. Do I? That's not game over, surely. Okay, there we go. Oh, great, and it doesn't even start you off like with some iframes. It's like straight in. Here you go, fucker. God. Oh. I wonder if this game is in the <laughs> LCU. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably Largo's favorite game. Oh shit. So yeah, this is um, Deadly Strike. I hope you're all enjoying the fact that you did this to me. It's all your fault, every one of you. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Oh shit. We did it! And he explodes into light! Oh fuck. I regret nothing. Thank you, A-hole hamster. Tending to any other attacks is No, literally. That's it. I have the sword swing and he can fire a gun. And that's it. Um, oh boy, not again with the bits! Thank you, my friend. You were too generous. Um... Ashley's Crunch, I swear that's a Final Fantasy. Yeah, you're right, actually. It does look like a Final Fantasy enemy. Maybe they did rip it off. Have you heard the news of Papa John? Apparently he wasn't racist. I have no idea what you're talking about, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> What's the point of the countdown? It's really, I think the countdown only counts down when you're fighting enemies that aren't the boss. Um, so yeah, it, it, it displays on the boss screen even though it never goes down. It's weird. Yeah, I want to achieve Dean Hydrate. Thank you for taking care of me. Actually, do you know what? Um, I was also... My nose is kind of blocked, and um, while I was kind of in the waiting screen to put this in, <laughs> um, I sprayed... You know those, like, nasal sprays you can put in your nose? Um, when your nose is blocked, like, you just kind of, like, snort them, like it's a fucking... a coke addict. But, like, I have this weird, like, strepsil one, but the liquid in it just goes straight down your throat, and it's like... <laughs> It's like just staying there, this chemical fucking awful aftertaste. That's why I'm probably down in the whiskey more so than, than always. Um, hello, 902293 
That's a, a good username. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you know what? We watch these streams for the conversation with you and watching you suffer. Well, thank you, NLI Wilson. I appreciate you. Um, it's a chimera. Oh, excuse me, Linda Season. I'm sorry. Hashtag. Uh, novice gamer. Noob gamer, sorry. Although I bet it's no pro gamer. I'm a fucking pro gamer. I bet the chimera. Chimera ain't got shit on tenains. Isn't Chimera also um, the name of the disease in Mission Impossible 2? For anyone who <laughs> likes that film. It's a fucking, it's, it's a terrible film, but in all the best ways. Pro, no, not even, Turbo Wingspan, how very dare you. There's no semi about it. Fucking pro gamer. I hold a world record for Phoenix Games Cinderella, okay? I just love it when they block, and you just have to keep hitting until they don't block. It's really fun the way they prolong the level like that, you know? Yeah, pretty sure there's a Papa John's in Ireland. What did Papa John's do? In my defense, I vote for Superman. Thank you, Rory. Although, I don't know if that is a thank you. That game could also be just fucking miserable. Um, I can't believe the Godfather only got two votes. <laughs> Two votes. Marilyn Brando's last ever acting gig. God love him. Um, I, didn't he die? He died like halfway through the recording of Vito Corleone. <laughs> the Chimera is a biblical beast, I believe. Has less to do with gaming, so still a pro gamer. There you go. See? It's just my general ignorance. Hey, hey, hey. Oh Jesus, we don't want you to play good games. I don't know, like sometimes a good game can be fun. Um, if it's just done right, like I mean, I sometimes I do want to play like a, a David Cage game. I think that would be, there'd be value in that. Um, and I think like as much shit as he gets, like they're fun games, David Cage games to be fair. Look at that enemy on the left, he's just trying to run. <laughs> it's just fucking... Oh shit! He blew a fireball out of a fucking blow dart stick thing. Fucking maniacs whoever made this game. Like, it makes no sense. I want Run Like Hell. It makes me feel any better tenings. Do you know what? I put that game on the list and I bought it. I Because I often just come across these games. I go into eBay and just type PS2 games. And then scroll and scroll and scroll through all the, the different games you can buy. And Run Like Hell was one of those games. It honestly has one of the worst covers I've ever seen because it's just the initials of the game on the box. But, um, so it was there on eBay and I did a quick YouTube search and I watched the opening cutscene of it and I was like, I'm fucking sold. It looks like they're trying to tell a proper dramatic story in it. And any game that has the balls to try and tell a dramatic story and fails is always worth playing in my book because there is nothing better than someone trying to tell a really powerful story and just falling completely on their face is the best. Shirtless mofo with the bits, why not skip enemies and speed run the game? You can't, unfortunately. You have to defeat all the enemies to get the little glowing icon to, to get you to the next area. Believe me, shirtless mofo, I would be just fucking... <laughs> I would have no problem. This game is no sitting ducks. Don't mention the war. That was a fucking awful game, wasn't it? That was like really disappointing. That was another one of those games, so I saw it on eBay. For anyone who doesn't remember sitting ducks, I played it um, a few streams ago and I was promised, promised GTA, but with ducks. Um, I thought you could rob cars and, and scooters and shit. Um, but turns out it's just the fucking most miserable fucking pile of shit. It was awful. Yeah. Really minty tennings, I may recommend you play World War II Soldier for the PS2 at some point. It's another terrible game I worked on at Atomic Planet. Oh my god, and there's currently a cheap copy on eBay. Do you know what? It's the only budget uh, war game that I don't have really minty. I was meant to buy it, but yeah. No, absolutely. Or do I have? No, I don't have it. 
amazing. I would actually check because I wanted for the longest time to make a video on all of the um, budget kind of first person shooter games that were released for the PS2, and that was on my list. But based off your recommendation, I'll absolutely play it. Um, really minty, by the way, for everyone, was uh, somebody who worked on Demon Summoner. We have royalty in our midst. Um, man, I was like, I got off the stream on Monday and I was like, how fucking cool is the internet? Like, I have someone who worked on Demon Summoner in the chat. It's so fucking awesome. I'm, I'm so happy to have you here, really minty. <laughs> um, same engine as Demon Summoner. Well, say no more. I'm sold. World War II soldier. I can only imagine. Ugh. God almighty. You're too kind. Well, I wasn't on Demon Summoner. <laughs> Shit, I'm fucking dying here. Shit. Ugh. Fuck it! I wasn't even paying attention! What the- I hadn't even gotten out of the character select screen and they were hurting me! Fuckers. Fucking ninjas throwing their ninja bombs! Okay. Uh, Demon Summoner was the first video. Watch you tenings. Oh! That's nice. Um, yeah, I remember. That was like... When I made Demon Summoner, I really didn't like that review that much. Um, oh, this is the boss that I died on in when I played it initially for the review. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't that fond of the review when I made it. I was kind of like just tired of it. But now, everyone like really enjoys it. It's like most people's favorite review of mine. So, look, I don't even I, I don't even have good quality barometer on the things I make. What the fuck? He just turns into a face? A floating face? Oh, it's a mask. It's a fucking sorcerer. How do you block that fucking attack? I'll try to do the, the magic roll when he shoots it. Okay, he's getting me get free hit. Ooh. Oh, there we go. You do the, the <laughs> delayed roll and it, it prevents him. Oh my god, this game. I think my first 10 video was Little Britain. Yeah, I'd say a lot of... That was like... I think that's my most watched video on YouTube, isn't it? Um, yeah, I like that video. But what's so funny is that... So that was a video that was made when I was getting just a few hundred views on my, my other videos. And um, it is just so funny. Suddenly, like, hundreds of thousands of people start watching your videos and... It's like, oh god, had I known I was going to get this audience, I would have, like, been a bit more sensible in the things I said and everything. Because, um, yeah, it's just like, you just wish it was more, there's even, like, a section, there's, like, a little montage I do in that video where, um, I edited that on Avid Media Composer, which for nerds is, like, the industry standard editing system. Um, but there, if you have a, the wrong box ticked when you're exporting, Avid like doesn't export all the layers of the video and there's this, so there's actually a montage in that review where um, I think there's a bit in that review where I say over and over and over and over and over again and in the edit that I had it's meant to go to a different image every single time but because Avid didn't have the, the, the box ticked um, it's just the same low res image of Little Britain that plays for like all that section and um, yeah, it was just fucking, I remember watching it, it's like, oh god, it's so amateur, like, it just, why did that stay like that? And fucking all of a sudden, it's like my most watched video, it's just this unrefined turd. Um, anyway, second most, Demon Summoner is number one, wow, well that makes me happy. Um, because I do, I have a, a soft spot for the Demon Summoner one now. Um, I just watched some gameplay of World War II Soldier, I could definitely tell it's the same mention as Demon Summoner, wow, that's fantastic. One of my favourite reviews, I think my first one was the Crazy Frog Racing one. Oh man, that one. I, I swear to God, so that, um, I'll tell the little story just while we're kind of on the break in between the several. Um, that, I think I'm pretty sure the one that you're talking about, um, was on the worst games I've never, yeah, Crazy Frog was on the worst games I've never played number seven. 
And um, I literally, I made that video lit because I thought it would be my last one. I was like, because I was getting so much. At the time, YouTube was pushing um, all of my videos really heavily. And tons and tons of people were leaving me comments saying, please make a new video, please make a new video, please make a new video, please make a new video. And I was like, oh man, so many people want a new Tenning's video. And so... Um, I ended up making that, and I'm like, if you watch it, it kind of has that finality, if that's the way I say that word, finality to it, because the whole video is having a go at YouTube. I was like fully sure that YouTube would um, just completely fuck me. So like the opening skit and everything is all about how terrible it is to make videos on YouTube nowadays, and I take shots at PewDiePie, and I think I call John Tron a racist in it and everything. Like it's just, I made that as like my final, final video on YouTube, and then suddenly. It got over so well, and I got like that real big rush for making a video again. It's like, ah, fuck it then, I'll make another one. <laughs> so yeah, I just ended up doing this like scathing attack on YouTube, and suddenly said, actually guys, uh, can I still come here? Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. Um, YouTube kind of fucked me on the latest one though. I think like most most of my subscribers don't even know that I made that Godfather. No. That's the whiskey. Uh, they don't even know that I made the um, the Sopranos review. It only has like 20,000 views or something. I was like, YouTube just fucking sucked. They, they, they didn't push it because it has mild nudity in it. Even though I censor all the boobs and stuff, um, YouTube still flag it as having content not for the children. We can't possibly promote a video that um, has censored boobies in it. Um, and it worked in your favor. YouTube deserve your every score. And they do, but they're also kind of the the gatekeepers on if people watch your videos or not which is kind of the double standard um yeah goodbye and fuck you youtube can i come back <laughs> exactly um but yeah it is what it is like that but that's why things like patreon and this is is so great because like your fans can directly support you do you know what i mean like if, if you're dependent on youtube you're just fucked absolutely fucked I just watched that review yesterday. Maze action in particular stood out in terms of awfulness. Oh, and hi chat. Hello to you, GameFan56. Yeah. Like, what really struck me was the um, Wizard of Oz while throwing the knife. Um, like, the opening skit in that where I pretend like I sold the channel to a bigger kind of conglomerate that were going to make terrible reviews on the channel from now on. Like, I wrote that thinking, wow, this is the most obvious fucking joke. But, like, if you look at the dislikes in that video, people what thought that happened. It was just mad. Um, but yeah, like, so there was, like, so much where people were fucking, how could Tennings leave us like this? Who is this, this woman who doesn't know nothing about games? And it's like, clearly it's a joke. She's wearing a fucking Call of Duty t-shirt, where, like, with a headset on. And, um, she gets all of the facts wrong that she talks about in the game. But anyway, what whatever. Do you want um, Vladimir for? It's meant to be a joke. Oh my god, the fucking sub-trade juju, Candy Keen, with the resub for two months. Hope you haven't reached a mental breakdown yet with these games. Keep up the great content. Candy Keen, Why thank you, you so much Vladimir for the support. For? I really, really appreciate it. Um, and oh boy, not again. Gift in the subs. Five get the subs. Holy shit. Oh boy, not again. Thank you so, 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 so much, you maniac. Oh, Why while we're here, before for? we jump back in. Ugh. Cult, may we all thank. Oh boy, not again Why for gifting the subs to J Morrissey eighty four KG five K Shav Jig Chavez Jig Logan Jenkins ninety three and GTFC for life Candy Keen. Why do you want All Vladimir welcome back, for? welcome back. You may never leave the cult of the knife. Thank you all. Oh boy, not again. Thank you so much for the support, my friend. Honestly, it means the world. Um. But anyway, yeah, so that was my little preamble on the worst games you never played 7. Um, how it was going to be my swan song. My Metal Gear Solid 2, if you will, to um, to the YouTube world only. It got it got such a good reaction, I just fucking came crawling back. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so this is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Farthest, furthest. Easy for you to say. Um, we're on the second last mission. Difficulty high, and we're going to fail the second last mission. Anyway. Jesus. Um, so yeah, as I said before I started this, this um, playthrough, like, you essentially earn points when you're playing the game. Um, so every time you do a combo and kill an enemy, it gives you points. So I think the game kind of makes you die on your first playthrough, so that then you go back and you spend the points for higher health and more lives and shit like that. So I think it's probably impossible to 
to really get through it. But anyway, if we die, we die. Um, stage 5, Field of Death. Stage set on a battlefield where a great many warriors fell. Their ghosts now attack the living. Oh, great. Um, 10 is the Kojima of shit game reviews. I mean reviews of shite games, not shite reviews. <laughs> Thank you. Robin Hood Quest is like the phantom pain for Tenians. Exactly, yeah. Um, is it an entire reset if all the lives are lost? I'm pretty sure it is, Hexibus. I'm pretty sure. Um, you can buy more credits uh, when you quit out to the main menu, which is very fucking useful. Anyway, Field of Death. New music this time. Um, it's called Field of Death, but it's the same enemy. I mean, these guys aren't ghosts. They're just humans. With spears, or halberds. If you will. Um, the thought was get the shit out the door so we can pay our bills. Oh, you're talking about... Um, Atomic Planet, Deep Server. Demon Summer is probably internal IP. Beverly Hills Cop is probably a blast game where your contracts to produce before my time, that one. Oh man. I fucking love having you here. Look at this, he's just running away. Um, really minty, like, so... When you're developing those games, um... Like, what's the, the process like? So, for anyone just joined us, really minty worked on, um... Demon Summoner and games that I've reviewed before. But, like, when you're developing them, are you hoping that you move on to, like, make better games? Or was it that you never wanted to be a developer, but, like, it was like a job that you could fall into quite easily? Um, is the lady who does the skit at the start of that review Muffin and Flaster Wrestler? No! That is, she, the lady is a wrestler. She's, her name is Debbie Keitel. Um, very talented wrestler, and... Thankfully, she's she was like perfect for, for doing that. Like she kind of really came across as a fake gamer girl, um, and she was so up for it. But yeah, she's Debbie Keitel, a wonderful, wonderful wrestler here in Ireland and, and a good friend. Um, Jesus fucking hell! Okay, we have a new enemy. Oh no, sorry, I thought it was a blonde enemy, but he's just wearing a hat. <laughs> they changed the background PNG and MP3. That's nice. <laughs> Seriously, as long as the game can be played and finished, that's good enough. <laughs> Love it. Funny enough, Beverly Hills Cop is how I discover Tenings. I love kind of going back and watching that review because it's... I'm sure every reviewer says the same. It's when you, you have no idea what your voice is yet, but... Um, so, you, like, you listen to that review, there's portions of it where I talk way too fast to be heard. Um... Just like, I don't have a good delivery in it, but it's like, people still love it, but yeah, when you listen to it back, it's like, God, I was so muted back then, you know? But yeah, so with that review, it's kind of like that. It just kind of, it's where it was, bless me, I was trying to find my way. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of nervous here because, like, it was a load of ninjas that killed me the last time. I get knocked down. What is this guy? Is he... Oh, they just they have a random corpse just lying there? Okay. To be fair with Cyberpunk, they didn't even bother to think, can this be played and finished? Man, like, I have never seen anything like Cyberpunk. Fair enough, like, with um, No Man's Sky. That was obviously a really disastrous launch. But to, to be one of the most beloved game publishers and developers and completely Fuck your audience like that. It's like, why would you commit suicide like that? Um, I'm yet to play, so I, I, I was so close to buying Cyberpunk recently. Um, but, I don't know, that that voice in my head saying you're supporting people who are duplicitous, you know? It's turned me off that. Damn you know, now knowing the lady is, that's fucking awesome. You got her on your channel. Um, yeah, no, Debbie. Great wrestler. Um, shit. I won't pick different characters now. Funny enough, the guy with the Donald Trump mask in that uh, video is my old tag team partner, Be Cool. And the Spider-Man is his girlfriend. So, 
I literally I just went to Barry's house and um, put up a white we bought a white sheet in Tesco and <laughs> hung it in his, his living room and we just filmed it there and then. <laughs> Uh, really meant to, I wanted to work. Oh shit! Sorry, I may just try to kill these guys. Oh. Okay, we have the royal guard now. Okay, there we go. I wanted to work in games. Atomic was near where my parents lived. I thought it would be the ideal job. They would give me tasks. I never picked Demon Summoner. Wow, that's crazy. Well, look, I mean, like as a starting point, I'm sure every game developer starts on something that they wouldn't want to do. You know. Um, and to be honest, with games nowadays, like, I'd say that the way crunch works and just how fucking miserable it sounds, is it just like developers are treated like fucking cattle on AAA games. Like, I'd say even though the games you spit out probably weren't like the quality that you wanted to work on, but it's probably way more fun to work on them. There's probably like a much smaller team and you're getting paid and you're probably getting to go home. Maybe, like you can tell me different, but you're getting to go home at a reasonable hour to your family, so... You know, uh, I would absolutely love to do an interview or chat with Tenians. I don't think there'd be an issue with that. Oh man, I would be so up for that. I would be so up for that. Um, fuck, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a really great idea. Uh, that's a nice behind the scenes of that skit. There you go, the skit that made thousands of people dislike a video. I was just trying to tell a joke. The last book I counted in Cyberpunk, a guy T posed down the ladder. <laughs> Oh my god, Stormy! Jazzy, in with the follow! Welcome to the stream, Stormy. We are playing Deadly Strike, as voted for by my fans here in the stream. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been exactly the same thing for the past hour or so. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I think we're, we're either, this is the second last level, and I think I have two more lives after this one, so... We're near the end. Mercifully, we're near the end. Okay, uh, one more life left. Yeah, one more credit. Okay. So yeah, we're not going to see the end of the game on this, this stream, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. But I will buy loads of upgrades, and uh, maybe we'll pick it up again on the next stream. And we'll finish it once and for all. Or maybe I'm just being defeatist, and I'll go and power through and, and fucking beat the game. Probably not, but look, I'm nearly dead already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the fucking ninjas! The ninjas shoot these fireballs that you can't dodge! Fucking ass- Look! I'm dead! That was not a pro gamer moment. And I can't continue. It's like, thank you for asking me to want to continue, but I can't buy any credits or anything, so there we go. That was Deadly Strike! Um. Oh my god. The last book I counted in 20... Sorry, I love how the scream's so loud. You can hear the mic outline itself, I know. Please do, I'm heavily fascinated. Um, that's my sister. Who's your sister? <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, I don't know much about the business side. No, I'd love to talk about the development of, of these kind of terrible games. It'd be great. Um, Stormy Jazzy, hello, my sister turned me on to your YouTube. Your content really brightens our day. Thank- Oh, sorry! So Stormy is Pixie's sister! Oh, we have the whole Pixie family here! Welcome, Stormy Jazzy. Um, I'm glad that my pain and suffering of terrible games can bring families together. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. Uh, you can't avoid playing in terrible movies. It's important not to be terrible in them. Christopher Lee. There you go. Uh, not Sorry, yeah. Not a pro gamer moment, everyone. Um, on the subject of small teams being better for going home on time, no, that wasn't my experience. If there was a game we have passion for it, it would have been different. Um, oh, wow, so you still had to crunch. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's awful. Well, I hope you're happier now, wherever you are. Um, anyway, look, let's go into the store and see what we can buy with all of the points that we accumulated from killing uh, men with, with halberds. So you can buy new costumes. What have I got? So I have 26,922 points. You can costume get new costumes. Life up. Okay. Um, 
attack power up, defense power up, player speed doubles with that. Combo gauge will fall slower when worn. Max fire. Fucking hell, now... Oh no, it's not. Number of credits doubles. Oh wow, so you start with 10 credits, unlimited credits. Player gets unlimited credits. Okay, well, look. We'll buy... Life up, attack power. Oh, I see. Or one back. So I still have... Call it now, there's a bikini option. Oh man. Do you know what? You're probably right. Although, do these... Wait, this is the same publisher as Demolition Girl, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're probably right. Um, Max Fire, Gun Gauge will not worn out. What else have I got here? I have 18,000. I mean, I'm fucking minted. <laughs> life up, maximum value of life gauge increases dramatically. It's probably the best one to go for here, isn't it? Plus 100. Okay, there you go. You have double your life. Um, so yeah, 2,000. Can I quit my else? Life up times 20. I'll... No, I can't boost up my attack power. Okay, so yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we'll call it a day on the old... Uh, what's it called? Deadly Strike for now. And we'll return to it and beat it for finally on the next stream. How's that sound? Uh, back. Where's the Largo Winch upgrade? Zero or ten game upgrades. <laughs> Man, if I had any sort of sway at all, I would be fucking begging for um, a Largo winch. Like, imagine all PewDiePie needs to do is play Largo winch, and suddenly I guarantee fucking to you, it would be back developer. Ubisoft would be like, hey, wait a minute, we have this. Credits get. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway, saving data. There we go. And um, by the way, I, I will uh, I'll come back on either Friday or the weekend. Um, play time fifty one minutes. Fucking hell, that wasn't even an hour. Seriously. Fuck. Oh look, you can play all the music. You can play the end. So we we can't see the ending, but at least we can play it. Enjoy that. <clears throat> uh, last boss and the end. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> ending get. Audio ending get. Um, oh, save. Why isn't it save? Oh, Jesus Christ. And there's no easy mode, so we can't just sail through. Um, so yeah. Whew. Boy, oh boy. I will call the day there. I think that was, for the most part, a lovely little stream. Um, I'm quite hesitant on going, like, four hours anymore because, fucking hell, when we played Alone in the Dark at the last stream, I, I honestly had such a horrible time playing it. It was just so shit. <laughs> um, well, now we've heard that, I don't think we ever... So, yeah, I'll come back on Friday or Saturday. Keep an eye on Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter at Tennings if you haven't already. And... Um, yeah, follow me here, if you haven't already, for any of you here, um, you can go follow. And, as always, the VOD will be available below, or you can go to my VOD channel, YouTube channel, where I store all of, um, all of my streams. It's kind of like a little archive. You can find a link to that in the bio, in the about section. Um, but yeah. TK, how did you feel? You didn't have to guide me through anything this time around. That must have been weird. <laughs> um... But yeah, thank you, uh, everybody, for all of the follows. Oh boy, not again. For all of the gifted subs, you are a hero. And for everyone that donated bits and, um, yeah, supported the channel in any way, I really, really appreciate you. Welcome to month two of Tennings. I have never been uh, disorganized about anything in my life. Um, so yeah, look, let's just see who's online, and we will send a final raid on the way and call it a stream. Ay ay ay. Oh boy, not again. Oh, he has the dock sign. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would eventually get that. But yeah, I like my next emote. I was probably saying it earlier on. I really need a pro gamer emote just for people to to launch into the stream. Um who's online? Ashens is online. Let's go raid Ashens. 
We tried to raid Ashen's um, previously, and I think he must have went offline just as everyone got there, so yeah. Ooh. Raid Ashen's. Oh my god. <laughs> Wrong way around. I am so shit at, tw at Twitch. It's not even funny. Um, here we go. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you all very, very, very much for being here. And um, yeah, go spam Ashens with the knives. The deadly knives. Go enjoy the raid. Um, I'll see you there and I will see you on Friday or Saturday. Um, remains to be seen. But anyway, thank you so much again. Enjoy. Bye-bye.